AM 560, The Answer. This hourly segment is brought to you by Unlock Your Wealth with host Raj Shah. Sunday mornings at 7 on AM 560, The Answer. If you're looking for the latest news, insight into what it means, and the sharpest opinion, there's only one station in Chicago where you can turn, and it's this one. We're AM560, The Answer. Top of the morning, Dan, and in for Amy J. This morning is John Cash, Chicago Tribune columnist and podcaster. The Chicago Way is the podcast you have to check out, and that's done weekly, John. You got to turn Twice your microphone. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Four times a week in the column, and please subscribe because I'm just a lonely print conservative in the <laughs> sea of liberal milk, and I'm drowning, baby. So come on in. Well, subscribe he, and help me out. Uh, he, I'm sure this will be the topic of your podcast this week. Here was the big reveal from uh, Governor Pritzker yesterday in Springfield. The experts have indicated that we can build onto our plan to bring back more activities faster, as long as Illinoisans continue to do as we have been doing, adhering to precautions and safety measures to keep each other safe. If you're good little boys and girls, you get to go outside and play. If not, you're going to be locked in your room. Uh, and well, uh, to shout out to my brother-in-law, Don Costello, who's a listener. He's, he has, he, Pritzker has stepped on the First Amendment. He's ripped it, and he's rolled Fear inside the First Amendment and lit it up so everybody can inhale. Mm. That's what he's done. Um, this business, that the shutdowns and the uh, attacking Amy and all that is just pathetic. Uh, for bars and restaurants, which have been hammered like uh, no other sector, uh, King JB of House Pritzker said this. But the epidemiologists now believe that summer offers us an opportunity if proper precautions are taken by businesses and their patrons. So after listening to and working with restaurant industry representatives together with our epidemiologists, today I'm announcing an additional option for bars and restaurants interested in resuming operations earlier. Opening for outdoor seating when phase three begins, likely for everyone just nine days from now. There you but go. it's not everybody because not every <laughs> restaurant or bar is open for has o outdoor seating. Uh -huh. You ever hear of a tavern, JB? Like a, not a fancy one, not tavern on Rush, but how about a real tavern? You mean like Eddie Goodell's Pub in Elburn, Illinois? Well, uh, I'm glad you raised the issue of a real tavern because we're pleased now to be joined by Annette and Richard Theobald, who are the owners of Eddie Goodell's Pub in Scenic. West Suburban, or Exurban, really, uh, Elburn, Illinois. Annette and Richard, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Oh, it's our pleasure. Thanks, Thank you for having us. All right, before we even Great. get to what you guys are up to, um, yeah. yeah, I mean, Eddie Goodell's pub, is this, uh -huh. uh, is this like the opposite of Randy Newman, short people have no reason to live? Is this this only <laughs> short people? Only short people are allowed in? Well, no, um, we, do, we do have his, like, figure. Some people think he's, like, still... Like he's there, and we get uh, mail credit card offers for Bill Vec <laughs> just because of the name. <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's is, that, is it is it because you're Bill Vec fans or you're fans of um, the the showmanship of Bill Vec to send up a little it four foot more Eddie Goodell? Showmanship. Yeah, it's more the showmanship. Bill, he, Eddie Goodell. He, if everyone knows the story, he, he had one at bat. He he uh, is three foot five inches tall. <laughs> and uh, Bill Vec, who was the, he, you know, he put him up to bat. He was with um, the Browns, the Browns. Yeah. St. Louis Browns, and yeah. uh, and it was just a promotion. And and you know what? We're we're a real small bar, and <laughs> this this is this whole thing has affected us in a way that, that we can't explain. You know. It, it, and by, tough. and by the way, uh, Eddie Goodell walked in that a bat, if you remember John Cass. Right. And uh, how you know, remember how to pronounce his name, you say, who the hell is Eddie Goodell? There you go. Nice. Eddie there Goodell. you go. So is he, did Eddie Goodell ever come to your bar? Well, he died in like well, 1945. Well, <laughs> I don't know how old it is. <laughs> that's a funny story. Uh, go ahead. No, tell him that. All right. So after we opened it, then we found out that Eddie Goodell was actually in Elburn after he had that famous at-bat, the local newspaper 
um, Elburn Harold brought him out. He was um, the Grand Marshal of the Elburn Days Parade that year. He stayed at the Hotel Baker in St. Charles. He was in Sycamore, and we people, a lot of people sent us stuff showing that he was in the area. And he played a, um, a game, a baseball game, um, at Elburn Days, and it was like the Maple Park versus the Elburn, and he pinch hit for a guy who later became our police chief, Wayne Beierhoff. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that, is a, that is a fantastic story. I love that story. And that, there's an Eddie Goodell Society, and um, he had, the guy from there, had um, the St. Louis Cardinals have an Eddie Goodell bobblehead day, like last year or the year before. I did, did uh, and, and so uh, did, uh, when he pinch hit for the uh, now police chief or future police chief of Elburn, did, did he also mm-hmm. walk? Did he walk? He walked out four pitches. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, that's great. Supposed, tell us about the supposed, bar. I need to know. Wait, I want to hear more about Eddie Goodell. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm a Sox fan. I'm a Bill Vec fan, okay? Go ahead. Did you, yeah. read, did, did you read Vec is in Rec? Did you read his autobiography? I did. Oh, you, I, it's a must read. It's, it's, it's brilliant. It's so much fun. It should be made into a movie. It really should. Really? Yeah. He, yeah, he was such a great guy for marketing and bringing people into the into the place. So, Bill, um, yeah, so our bar only seats like 42 people, and we do have a back, back patio, which now we have to try and update because now – we can't have as many people in there because we have to have precautions. We hung up shower curtains the other day. Um, we secretly, well, now it's not a secret, opened back up yesterday because um, we got um, approval from our mayor, administrator, and police chief, you know, just to go ahead. We put up precautions. Um, so we're just, <laughs> but, you know, honestly, the back patio is kind of a joke. It's probably like 30 days when you can use it. Right. Between the rain and if you guys look at the forecast next week, I got lightning bolts on my phone every day for next week. <laughs> now, how are I'll, you gonna how are you gonna function if that's the weather? You, yeah. can't, you can't operate in the city, you know, in Illinois anyway in the spring. Is that really a a gift to us all out re- restaurant owners? Well, the yeah. governor says he's a businessman and he understands yeah. business. Well, and the frustrations yeah. of business owners. You guys all morning have been talking about the governor and <laughs> we are with you 110 percent everything you're saying is the truth and it's just so sad how I, i'm losing friends really to tell you to be honest with you i'm losing friends over this it's an emotional time that we're living in why, lo- why are you losing friends well i by <laughs> me opening they- by me opening i am putting out you know i'm spreading this virus I am. I am just a, you know. I. Right. I it is. And there's. If you look at. If you can possibly, can see this. You know, in in Kane County, we have about three hundred fifty thousand people. Right. There's a hundred and twenty people that have died from this virus. A hundred and twenty. And all right, say that that number is off for a few days. Say it's a hundred and thirty. That's a fraction of one percent. A fraction of one percent that are dying. Right. And it's, the only thing you hear are deaths, people dying, people dying. Fair but that's point. just not the case. It's not the case. People that you are have driving. A, you people. have a better chance of dying driving in your car to get to Eddie Goodell's than you do catching the virus once you're inside. What's on tap at Eddie Goodell's when Dan Proft and I go out there and we want to <laughs> we well, smoke, we are... <laughs> smoke on the patio. That's yeah. how bars do it. But, I mean, now with Pritzker. My, my nephew, my nephew Brandon Kessler and Bobby Flamont, they are the ones that are putting it together. And we're just trying to th- think of a menu now. Say, say it is, you, you could, we could fit maybe 12 people on our patio. Yeah. <laughs> How well, do you plan that? How do you plan that? Well, well, but what you're saying is that the inside is going to be open because you have sanction to open uh, from your local right. authorities, and that's what you're basing your opening on. Correct? Yes. Yes, right. Exactly right, and we have right. a big garage door, so we're hoping that that's kind of like the outdoor feel that <laughs> they're and, yeah. approving and, us for. And and well, and and tell us, I mean, just tell tell us just your your story and your business. I mean, tell us what's happened over the last two months as you've been locked down. Well, um, it's we've had to limit it to like carry out, and uh, and then we added like some delivery for the pub, which we didn't you know previously have offered. Um, and we've lost like some staff only because they are anxious or live with somebody who's, you know, immune is compromised. And so we've had to, 
we're just trying to keep our staff safe. you know on hand and safe we don't want them to have to go through unemployment we don't want them you know yeah um, most of our staff has been with us the, the, as long as we've been open and how are you how are you guys sur- bar staff. How, how are you guys surviving financially through this with the bar closed for as long as it's been without you know minus carry out well, right. <laughs> well, you have to like move money, funds around and stuff. And um, we have a couple other businesses, you know. And it's like having three kids. You gotta like focus on the one that needs the most help and mm. get the other ones to pitch in when they can. Um, so that's why we wanted to open. You know, if you say, well, eight days. Well, how do you know in eight days it's not going to be? Oh, it's ten more days. Oh, it's you know. Right. Right. How do you know right. the days right. that they tell you are the days that they tell you? Mm-hmm. I'm not. I don't want to be like disrespectful to people who have COVID or have, but we have to balance that with our need to pay our bills, our more business bills, and to keep our staff on hand. It's hard enough to get our staff up to this point. I don't want to lose them. I don't want to lose them. You have to pay They're like family. You have to pay taxes. Yeah. Are you required to pay taxes to the government? Um. <laughs> Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's not a trick question. No, know, because right? yeah. I'm just wondering because they shut you down. They only right, let you and then open. they they had their hand out. Yeah, and they only let you open a, to a limited. Do they? Does the government say if you're only twenty five percent open, we're only going to take twenty five percent of the tax? Yeah. No. Well, <laughs> we're only making twenty five. You know, that's the thing. It's like they're spending money. If we would open, we would be paying taxes. To help them, we're not looking for a handout here, right? We're really right. not. And, and we just want to be open. We just want to have a fair shake. Yeah. And and what is uh, what's been the response uh, since this has become public from uh, you know your customer base out there? Well, initially I posted like a week ago that we we're going to be open very soon, and for the most part, like a lot of people on Facebook were like, "Great, we're going to support you. We want it to be open." And then there's one guy on there that. You know, anytime anybody said something to him, he had like some negative comment and how we're just being disrespectful and, you know, we should wait until the authorities tell us we can open, you know, and it's like. Well, look, all you have to do to address that guy is just unfriend Governor Pritzker and then you won't have that guy in your Facebook feed. That's all. Uh, right. Right. So so uh, so I, I, I go out shooting at Aurora Sportsman's Club in, in Waterman. Yeah, that's so, right there. yeah. So yeah. I'm 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 gonna stop by Eddie Goodell's pub, and then you know you probably want to name a drink after me. And uh, we'll name a we'll name you name a sandwich after you. Someone asked if we had sandwich. a Pritzker special, and I don't even know like what <laughs> horse meat. I don't even know what the, I didn't even want to give him the honor of that. You know he he lo- Danny loves liver sausage <laughs> with, with uh, onions. Yeah. And so do I. Now that that famous meat market is down the street from your all Reams. Those, right? Yep. What's it called? Yep. Reams. Reams, right? Reams. Do you yeah. do you serve like the charcuterie as we call it? The famous, oh, the uh, famous uh, sausages. You know, you know what? Maybe, I I'll make one. I'll make a dish and name it after you if you come out. I need I'll it. Make a I need it sliced thin with uh, you know <laughs> broken che- various broken cheeses. I don't know. You the, know what I mean. The like cast plate yeah. doesn't sound as sophisticated as the charcuterie plate, but uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, uh, can't wait to get out there. Annette and Richard Theobald, yeah. they're the owner of Eddie Goodell's Pub in Elburn, Illinois, and when you're out mm-hmm. uh, out west there. Uh, make sure you check out Eddie Goodell's pub. I love the ba- right. the Eddie Goodell piece of it, but uh, also best of luck to you as you reopen and uh, reestablish your business. Well, well thank take you the, guys take so the Marsha train till it ends. It ends in Elburn, and then you just walk a mile, and you'll be there. <laughs> okay. As long blocks. as I can Uber to a, to <laughs> the blocks. hotel nearby. A few blocks from the yeah. uh, Metro stop in Elburn. There you go. Very yeah. good. There you go. All right, Theobald, yeah. thanks so much for joining us. Bye. Appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Thank you you. for having us. And they join us on the turnkey.pro answer line. Hear about the big stories of the day, then talk about them right here on Chicago's Morning Answer on AM 560. The Answer. Famous conservative quotes presented by Automated Systems. Here's a Churchill quote to improve your outlook. A pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Wise words to live by, indeed. Manufacturing companies, I encourage you to call my friend Laz Kulchar from Automated Systems. Automated Systems is a software and systems integration company that specializes in companies that are required to meet FDA compliance requirements. Automated Systems will create a custom solution for your business, 
that will make your production lines, facilities, and plants run more efficiently. Imagine less downtime, more speed, and fewer rejects.